we will give some introduction towards uh, java uh -huh. so what is java is so what then where it is seen then why java is then how java came into picture so we shall answer these questions in our session so here Java is a programming language. Better say it is a technology. Technology. Which is used to make softwares. So generally the softwares are made using any programming languages. Here Java is a programming language where it is an OOP based language. That is object oriented object programming language. Every programming language has its own structure and its own nature. So there are programming languages like the structured programming languages, procedure programming lang languages, like there is object oriented programming languages. Object oriented programming languages rely on the objects which we see around our world the object may be a computer, may be a laptop, may be our room, uh, the shirt, what we wear. So all these are objects, objects with some properties. So um, Java programming language relies on these real world entities. So when a programming language relies on real world entities, then making a software with that kind of programming language would, would really suit the real life scenarios. So, so Java is a pure object oriented programming language. There are other object oriented programming languages also like C++. So here when you compare it to C++, Java is completely a pure object oriented programming language. And Java is an open source product. which means you don't need to pay for the license and with this Java there are three technologies available with that. So three technologies. They are J2SE which stands for Java to standard standard edition. Likewise J to E Java to Enterprise Edition and the third one is J to M Java to Micro Edition or Mobile Edition. So with the J to SE we can make the standalone applications using Java. Standalone applications. So standalone applications, examples like uh, in our Windows environment, there may be uh, a notepad or calculator programs. So this notepad, calculator, like or has some Word file or Excel file. So all these kinds of uh, uh, software or applications can be made using standalone applications. Then the enterprise applications. So enterprise applications like uh, you can make web applications as well as some huge enterprise applications which has complex business logic in it. Web applications like for example the bank websites or college websites might have developed using Java technology. Likewise enterprise applications so these are also a kind of applications where it involves huge business logic or complex business logic in it. And here there are special technologies along with Java or better say which are also available in Java which are specially used to design these enterprise applications. For example the technologies like EJB that is enterprise 
Java. So when EJB is that is a Java technology component are used uh, in developing the application, then it becomes an enterprise application. So here enterprise application generally will be having complex business logic compared to normal web applications. Then J2 MVR, J2 micro edition that is mobile edition or micro edition. This is well known. So the Android operating system which has several number of apps that are developed using Java programming language. So over there we will be using J2ME edition. So these are the three places where you are you can see Java. That is why I am mentioned under this bare uh, person. So J2SE, J2ME, J2ME. So these J2SE all these things are presently named as JSE. They have just removed the two version in its name. Likewise, JEE, two stands for version. Likewise, JME, JME. And before answering this why question, we will be looking into how Java came into existence, that is origin of Java. So origin of Java. So here in 1990, that is 1990s, Sun Microsystems, a company uh, has formed a team, team and this team was managed by a person called James Corpus. So they formed a team and they started developing a project. So the project is Green Project. Green Project. And the purpose of this project is to develop a programming language, programming language programming language with which they can make softwares. You know well that with the programming language we can make softwares. Softwares that would add intelligence that would add intelligence to Consumer electronic devices. So their intention is to develop a new programming language with which they can make a software and those softwares would be adding intelligence to consumer electronic devices. So this was their intention. So what is this adding intelligence to consumer electronic devices? Let me explain you by example. Uh, the current day televisions. So which were launched during the beginning were uh, used to operate uh, with the help of a knob on it. That is, the televisions in the earlier days had a knob on it. Uh, you have to twist that knob, rotate that knob to move from one channel to another channel. Uh, so that knob would have labeled with some numbering, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Like this, the numbering would be maybe 5, 6 or maybe 10 and uh, depends upon the television. So this number indicates a channel. So you can move from one channel to another channel by rotating that knob, twisting that knob. But later on, the remote controls came into existence. So with the help of remote control, you can swap from one channel to another channel. You can move across hundreds of channels. So here, the remote control has a software embedded inside it. That software is the instructions that are given by the user. So we hold the remote control and press buttons to present target. So the software inside the remote control is taking the instructions and it is acting accordingly. That is, you can shift from one channel to another salon. You can increase volume, you can decrease volume. So likewise, you can adjust the uh, settings of the uh, television. So all by means of a remote control. 
So here, James Baldwin Keem's idea or purpose was to develop such a programming language with which you can make a software and add intelligence to electronic devices. So with that intention, they started working and research and development went. So 1990s. So here, 1992 and then 1993. So with 1992, they came out with a programming language that is OAK. OAK was the programming language and with which they used to write some softwares to add intelligence to electronic devices. In 1993, the same work programming language was renamed to Java because there was already a programming language with the same name OAKO. So, the James Baldwin team decided to give a new name for the programming language which they have invented. So, they name, gave a name Java. So, this 1990 and this timeline is with the Sun Microsystems. Systems. So, likewise, in the other part of the world, during 1993, 1993, so what happened was, in 1993, internet came into picture. So, internet, then slowly on internet, the research and development activities were going on. So, I write here, research and development. Research and development. So, here, during the time, during the time, internet was static in nature. So, static. So, I'll explain you what is static. Yes. Then, here, in the timeline of uh, Sun Microsystems 1994, here, the James Browsing team gave a, a new name for uh, Java and they released a version of Java, that is Java 1.0 version. And they are also found that they have also found that with the help of the Java programming language they can write uh, some programs programs that would run on web easily. Web is nothing but the int an internet explorer. So those programs that were written using Java 1.0 version were executing on a browser efficiently and with the help of that programs uh, this James Cowling team could run run animations videos on browser so here they have used a browser during those days that is web runner. There was no internet explorer during those days, so they just used web runner as a browser and could execute uh, programs uh, successfully on the browser. It means they are web applications. So here you can see with the timeline of uh, internet 1993, 1994, the internet was static. It means the internet could display only pictures static pictures. There was there were no uh, animations or videos on internet during those days. That is 1993-1994 during the beginning of internet. From 1995, so from 1995 here, Java programs are the better say the programs that were written on Java programming language were used to execute on internet successfully and this Java gave dynamism, dynamism to internet. So what is the static and dynamism is? For example, uh, the academic results are announced. So immediately we will be opening the internet via a browser and we will be accessing the application 
and provide our registration number or hall ticket number and we shall look into our results. So you provide your hall ticket number or register number, the application will process the results and immediately it will display the result of the particular candidate. So that is what the results are seen dynamically. That in instance, an instant results are seen. Suppose the internet is static, then what happens with the same scenario is results would be announced. Now the candidate would be providing the hall ticket number or registration number. Then the application will not display the result immediately because it takes time for processing. It will display a message that uh, your results would be announced after 48 hours. So whereas with the dynamic internet, the results are immediately announced. So that is what the difference between the static and dynamism. Likewise, you can run animations, videos, uh, flash files on internet right from 1995. Because from 1995, the Java was used in giving the dynamism to internet. So we say Java got the prominence because it has been used with internet. Likewise, the internet got its significance or the dynamism only because Java was there in it. So both are interdependent for its significance.